Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of the Dirt Today Daytona Career Mode series. As always, let's see how the last race went, see how the point standings look, and see where we're headed today. So our last race was at Michigan. We qualified in the 15th position, came back 13th. That race was a mess. There was so many cautions, so many crashes. I'm really glad we were able to pull out a top 15. Let's see how the points look. So currently we sit at 23rd in the points. We're just one point ahead of 24th and 22nd is almost 100 points ahead of us. So we've definitely got some ground to make up if we want to keep moving up. But our goal is top 35. And if you look, 35th is over 600 points behind us. So I think we've got a pretty good cushion there. Let's see where we're headed today. Continuing the month of August, it's time for the Bristol Night Race. We did run Bristol before, so I'm just gonna start with the setup we had last time and see if we need to make some changes. So last time out, our best lap was a 1679. I'm interested to Carlo. see if we can beat that. Staying out of the wall would be a uh, good start. Getting passed by fake Michael Waltrip is not a good sign for the speed in our car. That is for sure. I think if we can put some good laps together, Carlo. we can probably, you know, pick up, pick up some real speed, but... I finally switched back to the controller after using the steering wheel for the last couple seasons. I when I run, especially like Michigan and Daytona and tracks with the long straightaways, it's really difficult trying to go straight and the dead zone in the steering wheel and the like steering left at all times that are just kind of coded in. Still there. It's a lot harder on the wheel to compensate for all that, so. I'm just gonna go back to the controller high for high now. Clear high. I, uh. A spin in turn three. Not exactly showing my best driving right now, but. Yeah, we're, we're gonna make a couple changes, but. Hopefully, I can drive better with the controller, because I've been getting really frustrated with the steering wheel. So I just realized a second ago when I paused the recording to uh, go ahead and make Still some there. changes, never started it back. Clearly. So we did better our best lap and the, the car was getting a little hot. So I went ahead and took off another 5% of tape and I'm gonna run a few laps, see how we're how we're going and then I'll probably qualify yeah that was our best lap yet just then so I'm pretty happy with the changes I've made to the car I know we're not gonna be like fast but I at least think I should be able to drive the car without crashing it all right Ricky Rudd is a second faster than us very nice. Very cool. Go, 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 go. Oh, I got back to the gas a little early. This is not going to be a good lap. All right, let's see where we play. Yeah, that was half a second slower than my best lap. 
Oh, we are not going to start very good in this field. Yeah, give it up for P28. Woo. Alrighty, friends. Let's go run the Bristol Night Race. Are you ready for intensity on wheels? I'm Alan Bestwick. Welcome to Bristol Motor Speedway. Bristol's 36 degree banked concrete bullring provides some of the sport's most exciting fender bang and racing. 147,000 permanent seats and a half mile layout guarantees the crowd is loud and hungry for action. 65 laps. Oh, I'm sure this is gonna go well for us. So in theory, we should be able to make it on one pit stop, hopefully. Once we get strung out, I can definitely uh, save fuel a little bit, but right now I kind of have to push to try and get around some of these slow guys. And we've bonked the nose. Only took us two laps Clear this time. Carlo. All clear. If I could get to the bottom, I think I could maybe make some good laps, but fake Bill Elliott and Fake Michael Waltrip do not want to give me the space. Still there. Thank you, sir. Still there. All clear. That was a great lap. Is that Jeff Gordon all the way back here? They must have really messed up his setup if uh if he's running back here with me. Carlo. Oh boy, we're fine. Slow down. We're fine. Still there. Still there. All clear. So it definitely seems that I am a lot tighter in traffic than I was when I was running by myself. So when I do make my pit stop, I will certainly be making a wedge adjustment. I wonder how long it's gonna be before the leaders are here because if they were a second and a half faster <laughs> in qualifying, and this track only takes 17 seconds or less to get around. It can't take too long for them to make it up to me. I think that's the leader that is about oh. to... Yep, we're a lap down. Awesome. If this thing runs green all the way through, I guarantee we finish three to five laps down. Carlo. Carlo. Well, it's not going to run green all the way through if I wreck the leaders as they pass. Oh, I, I didn't cause that one. Car low, car high. 
I think Bill Elliott just flipped. Car's off. It's set. The race is going green. I love right. these standing starts where right. uh, there is no possible way to not spin the tires. Absolutely love that. So I don't think we're going to save 15 laps worth of fuel. We will definitely have to pit again. Car low. Car high. Oh, we wide. have destroyed the front bumper already. Fantastic. Still there. Car low. This track is such a mess. As is my driving. Alright, so now when I touch the brakes, Halo, the car just wants to hook left. That is a lovely feeling. Oh, that's the wall. We don't actually want to hit that. I got lapped again? Carlo. This is ridiculous. <laughs> we are Carlo. so slow. Still there. And Elliot, I think, saved it. Just did a nice little nice little 360 and then gathered it up. out again I believe at this point Carlo. everyone should be able All to make clear. it on fuel <laughs> what the heck alrighty then okay that's the halfway mark oh my gosh the front of the car looks great absolutely great Pace car is off. the race is going green there's the green flag. Alright, we have 33 laps of fuel and 32 laps of race. So, we're just going to push and hope for the best.
I wish we were like just a little bit faster. I feel like I could make some passes if I had just a bit more speed in the car, but it's so difficult to pass anybody. Stay low. Still there. Yeah, four wide. Still there. Let's go. Somebody hit the wall a ton. Oh no, 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 no. We're fine. We just went another lap down. <laughs> oh my goodness. Remember last episode when I said, hey, I'd love to get an upgrade, but we might not make money next race and then we would be in the negative. This is why I didn't get that upgrade. Brother. Stay low. Still there. All clear. I love this game. Twenty to go. I am glad I took that grill tape off because now that we've got radiator damage, there's no way we'd be able to keep running as is. Car high. Car low. Yeah, I'll just follow Matt through. Seems like a good line. Oh, that's fine. Carlo. I really wish this race was more exciting and I had more to talk about because I'm just getting passed a lot. <laughs> There's not really a whole lot for me to talk about. How's your day going? I hope you're enjoying this video. <laughs> If you've made it this far in the video, comment your favorite type of pizza. Either your favorite pizza place, your favorite pizza toppings, whatever. Just let me know your favorite kind of pizza. I'm a big fan of the New York style, you know, real thin, floppy crust, just a nice cheese pizza. That's what I like. Stay high. Still there. Clear low. There was almost a crash in front of us. Seems like they figured it out though. Clear high. But I figured that Clear out. Low. That was almost bad. <laughs> Go. 
Carlo. Oh, come on. John Andretti oh, is flying past us. We are still crap at short still tracks. Clear low. This was definitely one of our worst areas in the truck series and definitely need to work on it in the cup series as well. So it looks like Clear at the low. end of the straightaways, our oil temp is just hitting 220. So I don't think we're gonna overheat the car. But if I hit anything else pretty hard, we just might. Five laps to go. Stay low, still there. I'm glad we did finally get a pretty long run though because the car definitely seems to drive better as the run goes on it's definitely not planted at all when a run starts but the longer we go the more okay it seems Those couple guys in front of us were for position. That is a bummer. Yeah, like I said, we'd be between three and five laps down, so. Sounds about right. What a day. Let's go see how much money we lost. I have to say, I am really surprised that uh, the damage wasn't much worse. We didn't even lose $5,000 on the weekend. And we've had weekends where we lost $88,000, so... Can't... can't complain, honestly. <laughs> so here are the race results. Qualified 28. We fell all the way back to like 40th at some point, so... Obviously I don't love finishing 33rd, but it could have been a lot worse. And Mike Wallace had a lot better run than we did, so he is... 32 points ahead of us now, but we're still 615 points ahead of 35th, so not worried. Well, friends, that is going to do it for another episode. I just want to say a big thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit like for me, comment if you've got anything to say, and subscribe if you're not. I hope I catch you in the next one. See ya.